and welcome back to another video. So I'm a bit late talking about this because it's been out for a while, but I need stuff to make videos on, so we're going to be talking about realism craft. So this is basic. So basically, it's like a add-on, kinda. So uh, it is. It's, it does have its own like behavior pack, uh, and you can add others onto it. But you can't add this behavior pack onto pre-existing worlds. Can we have it on realism craft worlds? You can change all this, you can make it hard survival, you can change all of this. Uh, I am gonna turn multiplayer off so nobody jumps in and interrupts the video. Um, uh, cheats are right here. I'm gonna turn cheats on so I can fly. Well, I'll then show you the world. So, and then you can like create the world, and uh, this will create a randomly generated world. So it's not like a map where you have the exact same spawn and everything's exactly where everything is. It does create a brand new world. Um. So, well, I do have mixed feelings about uh, uh, this. Oh, I am drowning. So you have a realism guidebook and you have a VFX settings book uh, thing. Uh, there's a little boat over here I'm going to go over to. So you can already see like there's a bunch of ships that they've added. Uh, oh, there's an ice spikes biome over there. And there's like a big tree or something over there. Well, here, over here we have a little wandering trader area. So this VS XM so it says like the ambient. So you can turn ah so this is like spe you know little special effects. You can enable, disable. Which is cool. This was not here the last time I checked this out, because I did check it out in my own time uh, once, but I didn't get super into it. Uh, I just had a little wander around in survival, so we got some food in here. Don't really want much of flesh. And a crafting table. I'll have that crafting table, thank you very much. Um, and then you have the book, which I don't think it tells you much. Uh, visual effects. The listing. Yeah, got them. Realistic biomes. I don't see them. Realistic mobs. Realistic animations. Oh, yeah. I'm going to third person and banjo. You can see that the animations have been upgraded. They had playing in that mode. Uh, dynamic lighting, 3D tools and weapons, immersive sound. So this is more like a mod pack than it is add-ons, which is cool, like kind of cool in my opinion. But what I don't really like about it uh, is that it is just limited to this to this type of world. You can't add it into pre-existing worlds. Which, in my opinion, is a big downside. Because in, in, like, in my opinion, like, one of the like, big selling points of add-ons is like, oh, you could ma make a brand new world with it, or you could add it into your pre add them into your pre existing world to have fun with them in your already existing worlds so that you ha that you've gathered materials on and stuff. Um So I kinda I do do kind of just like, oh, hold on. 
So I do have a 3D items texture pack on, and that's messing with that texture pack. So if I just go to settings real quick, uh, global resources, active, so just deactivate, deactivate. Let's just deactivate all these. Wait, can I? So you can activate the texture pack itself, so if you if you just want the texture pack on your world, you can. So yeah, let's skip. Gonna have to wait to get back into the world. Yeah, well. Ah. That's a bit disappointing. I think that looks fine, I guess. Uh, but let's go take a look around this one. So the clouds look nice. You got uh, birds in the sky. And you got these big pirate ships that I have nowhere near equipped enough to take on, really. They do look cool, and they do. It does add more life into the uh, waters as you as you're boating around. It do. Uh, I've seen IBX Toycast videos, and there was way more boats in his video, so maybe they uh, turn down the spawn rate on the boats. Like Spike. So trees now have uh, these uh, extra little bits on them here. So you can break and you get sticks from them. Um, you got like little decorative stuff here. So you got these little uh, seashells that you can pick up. Oh, that's the root. Make kelp out of the out of starfish number four. Apparently. Yeah, you got the pig here. Oh, yeah, and you got leaves falling from leaf blocks. Cow. Uh, I've never, I've never been, really been a fan of like these like super realistic texture packs. Well, it's not super realistic, but yeah, I mean, oh, the bee, I do like the, how the bee looks. Bee's cute. Turtle. And you've got some cut brand new trees like these uh, palm trees. So are they, is this a brand new wood? Nah, it's just jungle wood. The jungle wood actually looks not, uh, not too bad. It looks a little bit better. I'm not really a fan of jungle wood though. Would have been cool if they added a brand new palm wood. Oh, you've got sheep. Well, I kind of like sheep. Remind me of Wooloo from Pokemon. There's a chicken somewhere, but I don't know where. That does change up the world, up, you know, bear ads. Where are these chickens? Oh, there's one. I like the chickens, chickens are cute. Uh, oh, and this is, is this, a, this is a brand, entirely like brand new type of tree, I guess. This is a, yeah, just a big oak tree. Oh, is that like a, is, and that, is that a sapling? No, 
I don't know where it was, but it's gone now. And you got like driftwood on the beach. They can break and get logs out of. Uh, so let me go to creative real quick. Team mood one. So I can explore this world a little bit quicker. There's some cool stuff when the world decides it wants to load. Yep. Oh, this is new. This stone. Yeah, stone. But this is like a new like formation. That's kind of cool. Uh, ice spikes appear to be unchanged. The spruce forests appear to be unchanged. Uh. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, there's you're not going to see changes everywhere you go. Mind you, there's probably added a bunch of. Uh, stuff, let's see, spawn, oh, so it's changed the, sp okay, I actually like how they changed the spawn eggs, actually look like the mobs, oh, that's cool, and they're like, the fish are like fish eggs, oh, let's see, check out the sea turtle, guardians, you got the squids, got the bar, damadillo, breeze, sniffer, doesn't appear like they've added any new mobs. Do it. Oh, let's see what the warden looks like, because I think they changed how the warden looks. Let's just spawn in a few mobs. See how they oh, the warden looks cool. Has the breeze changed? The breeze has changed a bit. Uh, has the gas changed? Uh, it's changed a little bit, but not much. Really doesn't want to look at me. Yeah, come on, let me look at you. This is why I hate gas, they just keep moving around constantly. Yeah, got a glimpse of his face in there. Uh, let's move away so the warden's not bothering me so much. Oh, I hear balls there. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, wait, that's new. They've got like a ruined. Ruins over here with a mob spawner. It's hard to tell what this is. Hold on. Time. Set. Mid. Oh, the streets. So yeah, probably don't want to come here at tonight time. Doesn't appear to be any chest or anything now. Oh, powdered snow. That's a lot of powdered snow. And in a sense, I got another spawner here. Why would you come here if there's no chest to loot or anything? It doesn't appear to add any hostile mobs or passive or any mobs at all. Otherwise, we, there'd probably be a spawning for them. Let's see what does this add. 
Yeah, except outside like structures. Here let's go. Decent texture pack. I do like the texture pack. It's is decent. Changes what the dyes look like. Yeah, it doesn't make any changes. Power reduction balls, got the spawn eggs. Hmm. Look, you got the armor, nothing here. Yeah, I doesn't seem like it adds anything. I ever think seems the same as it was, well, except for like it's now got a texture pack. Ah, yeah, so we do have like the fallen trunk. So, yeah, they obviously add like the uh, so they got acacia log pile, uh, mossy mangrove trunk. So, there are some new stuff like snow geyser. Bushes, you got mossy beach logs, a few like small decorative things, mossy fruit log, animal skull, probably find them in deserts, canary you know, spruce trunk. And then clay. Yeah. So it adds like little like decorative things, but it doesn't really it surprisingly doesn't add anything new that much new really other than like little decorative blocks you find here and there and changes of the te textures and stuff. It's just a beard. Also, why is the game lagging so much? Yeah, Minecraft's using a parade. I think I need to like delete some add-ons and stuff that I'm not using. Um, yeah. It, it is one of the more like one of the, like it is like quite expensive services. So like, hmm. Is it is a little bit hard to justify it? They have added uh, recently released like this, but with like one more thing added on. It's like okay, uh, why? I don't know. Um, like it, they get there are like new structures, which is cool. So if you're gonna download this, I would re mainly recommend downloading this for the new structures. So like, if we go back. To the boots over here. Uh, they're not super common, but you'll see them every now and then. Actually, I'm just gonna kill myself real quick. Game mode zero. Respawn. Yeah, man. Yeah, I really need to get like some stuff deleted off here because it's using up way too much memory and stuff. There you go. One. Oh god damn it. There we go. Yeah, that's just a bit of shipwreck. If you take a look at these bows, these do have loot on them. There's a bunch of uh, 
spawners for what, pillagers. We do get some loot, so up here we have like, a bit of food and stuff. Wheat. We go down here, we've got like hay bales, we've got a chest over here with iron, wood and wheat and potatoes. Just like more potatoes and carrots, potatoes, wheat. There's reason to come to these uh, uh, ships and uh, you know, loot them. Got like a ball of enchanting, smithing template, uh, string and stuff, carrots and skulls. But well, these are more like early game kind of things. Oh, now why are you? Yeah, you're just, yeah, you're pillagers, so like, they're, they look like pirates. Carrot, sugar, sugar. Yeah, just free to so you got you do get some decent stuff from here like iron and balls of enchanting, but is they're uh, gonna be quite difficult. Cause these spawn can spawn guys during the day, so you can't just come during the during the day hoping they don't spawn. <laughs> so I guess these are pillager captains. Hold on, let me get a sword and kill one of them and see. Hmm, no, I guess not. Well, that one's a pillager captain. So why, why aren't these... I oh, don't know. Oh, and you probably just like more food up here. Yeah. Oh, like. So, yeah, like I said, it's a bit hard to recommend this because it does add uh, more structures they can make, but they're very, they're very like. Uh, I don't know, mid game, I say this is. Because it's just pillagers, but it is a lot of pillagers, okay? So, it's probably going to cause you yeah, a bit of trouble. And you do get some iron, so like maybe if you've like got some iron arm, like you could probably like come here and do this and this with a shield. Might wanna come do it with a couple of friends if you have some to do it with. So you don't get overwhelmed. And you got some emeralds and another smithing template. Yeah, and the uh, and the texture pack is decent. Uh, there are some cool looking stuff. Uh, but that's obvious. I can't really just like, oh, I definitely buy it because the texture pack is like you can see the textures for yourself, and you can see whether or not you like the textures. And I'm not crazy about them, but they they are decent. Uh, but yeah. I mean, if you're thinking about starting a new, like, modded uh, survival world, like, uh, if you, you might want to get this, add it on, you know, add some more add-ons maybe, because you're not going to get a lot of mileage out of this alone. Because, you know, by the time you've got Iron Army, you can, like, take on the ships. I don't know. Every uh, structure that spawn that spawns, and I can't obviously can't show every one off, every one of them off. Um, and yeah, the beard's two D, as you can kind of tell from the ground. Can I kill any of these? Nope. Uh, 
But, yeah. Not uh, super interesting. So obviously, uh, I can't remember how much uh, this cost me. I, I guess I'm pretty sure it was quite, uh, I think it was more expensive like most things. So it's kind of just like, mm, kind of, like I said, it is kind of hard to recommend. Because, oh, do you like the texture pack? If you like the texture pack, and if you want to, some more structures to raid, and just like more like decorative stuff, then this might be worth it for you. This is very like per person to person kind of thing, like maybe worth it for person A, but person B uh, probably won't be interested in this. You do have some cool new structures, and you can also make these, uh, like retrofit these structures into uh, bases. I don't much like how the spiders look. Now this is cool. I don't know why the iron golem is outside of it. A cage. Or did it, did this cage not spawn properly or something? This seems to be a pillager outpost kind of thing. Yep. Well, I guess he's just gonna be helping you take him down. Oh, there's a guy all the way up here. That's cool. Yeah, I think some of the structures like cut into each other. There's a iron golem in here as well. So I think these are uh, these structures are some some of them are like somewhat randomly gem generated. Uh, here we go. Don't much like how this one's laid out. Also, wow, I really need to get some of like, the add-ons deleted to save like space for like processing and stuff. It's ooh. Yeah, well. And we got a chest up here. Just got some iron and stuff in it. Yeah, so these uh, structures aren't, don't seem to be anything too crazy. I think I was in the area. Yeah. Little thing here. I think that guy from earlier was there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you like what you've uh, seen in the video, then you'd probably, uh, you know, like this. Uh, but I, I would definitely recommend adding some other stuff on top of this because, like I said, um, it doesn't add a ton of like stuff to do. It just makes mostly just like. Revamping world gen, I guess. Like how like trees spawn and all that. It, should, so it does look kind of cool. Oh, they've not really touched. It. Oh, I definitely didn't be allowed to touch the vanilla uh, outpost. These trees do look cool. Uh, and, well, like, my main problem with this is that, um, if, uh, you know, if they release another, uh, like, they're calling these mashup packs, but if they, like, uh, but I'll just call them, like, add-on packs. If you, if they basically release, like, another one of these, like, add-on packs, then you're not gonna be able to, like, combine them together, which... Does which is kind of like a, a small problem in my opinion because it you know it'd be cool if you could have multiple of these like add-on packs together to like completely like reshape the world. Um, there's not really anything going on in the Badlands biome or Mesa or whatever you want to call it.
There is ambient noise now because you can hear the wind blowing. Okay, that's not vanilla. It's like a huge ruined portal. This is new, and it's a gold block right there. Yeah. Even even the loot seems rare because it got golden apple, golden chest plate, golden helmet, golden shovel, and obsidian. I am ninety nine percent sure that's not vanilla. Oh, you even got tumbleweeds. Punch him when you get some of the sticks. Yeah, I might do like a live stream where I uh, play some of this. Uh, maybe later today. Uh, oh, this is new. These are new. So you got like a little oasis here. Yeah, this is nice. It does add a bit of like life to the, like, the desert. Oh, we've got a uh, sandstorm. It appears to be like destroying like the tall grass and stuff. This is a new ruined portal. Well, that was even a, even got a zoglin, like some iron nuggets, and then steel and stuff here. Right, obsidian looks cool. Sandstorms are cool. That's a nice added uh, feature. Like these little uh, these little cactus things that they added. Yeah, you can probably pick them up with you, so like medium barrel cactus. And small desert bush. Yeah, I wonder why I'm finding so many ruined portals in the desert. There's a crimson one again. And I think this one's a vanilla one, by the looks of it. And this is also vanilla, if I'm not mistaken. Lots of ruined never portals in the desert, and I don't know why. Desert villages are unchanged. So yeah, I think all like the vanilla structures have gone unchanged. Now, there's one more thing I want to uh, test out before I end the video, and that is, can you make a super flat version of this world? Or what is like, no, no super flat for you. Create new, realism craft. So if I go into advance, yeah, you are not allowed to uh, toggle the flat world. Or starting map, or bonus chest. Toggle show coordinates and days played. Okay, I kind of get why they want to let you toggle the flat world, but why not starting map or bonus chest? That's a bit odd. But yeah. Um... Oh yeah, like I said, if you wanna, <laughs> if you wanna add it to the pre-existing world, you cannot. So yeah, I hope this. I hope you guys did all did enjoy this video. I hope it uh, um helped you uh, uh like decide on whether or not you wanna uh, pick this up. Um. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.